One of the longest serving members of the Arsenal squad is senior club photographer Stuart McFarlane. An Arsenal fan himself, McFarlane was given the chance to join his club officially in 2000. Since then, he's taken thousands of photos for the Gunners, and today we'll look at some of his finest from in and around the squad from the year 2010. That was last season, Bolton, I think the final score was, I think it was 4-1 in the end, or 4-2. Uh, quite a tense game, and Thomas from Ireland scored to put us, to put us ahead. And uh, it was just like an absolute explosion of relief over the stadium and from him. He's quite an emotional, as, uh, quite sort of cool and calm off the pitch, but certainly when he scores goals, he, everything goes. But just, I was so pleased with it because he jumped, got him right at the height of his, of his jump, right underneath the scoreboard. And luckily enough, it said goal. And it's just, just a great moment, really. It's just an unusual picture. It just to catch it like that, and I think I got full frames of it as he went up in the air and turned over. You, you think, oh, you know, how is he going to land it? Luckily enough, he didn't get injured, but it's just the sort of, as he's come over the top, he's just gone straight down. It, it's, a, it's an unusual football picture. It's just a really unusual football picture. That, it was for our 25 years in the community, and we had to come up with an idea, something that was a bit quirky. Uh, one of the girls from the press office and myself came up with the idea. Uh, she got all the gear together, but then it's a matter of persuading the players to put the stuff on, which isn't always the easiest thing to do. <clears throat> but three really good characters. Andre was, I walked into the, training, into the training ground and he was standing in these skin tight shorts. Everyone was laughing at him, but he was so game for a laugh. Got the three over there. <coughs> They didn't put the wigs on, I waited till we got them into the indoor hall where we did the pictures until we gave them the wigs. And I had to put the wigs on them, and in the end they did. But when they actually saw each other, it was, it was just brilliant. They were just so funny. The sequence, Sami Nasri's second goal against Porto in the Champions League last season. That was uh, on a shorter lens, not a normal action lens. So that's, a goal, that's the lens we call a goal mouth lens. And, uh, you, you wouldn't normally take a series of pictures like that when someone runs through on goal, but the first picture was, a nice, was, a, was just a nice action picture, and then as he ran through, the second one was, and then the third one was, and I, I kept thinking, oh, I'll keep my finger on the button here, because it looks like something might be happening. And in the end, I just, I just followed it all the way, and it went in and followed it all the way out as well. So I've had a few like that. I've had a, one with Dennis Burkamp from a few, against Newcastle a few years ago, but this is uh, just, uh, it's just a great goal and I was lucky enough to, to think that something was going to happen from the initial shot. And Sammy's seen it, he loves it, uh, he's got it on the disc, I think he was going to, uh, I think he was going to get it framed and put in his house. He, it's a Carling Cup game at White Hart Lane to put us one up. Uh, Henry's a massive Arsenal fan and Kieran Gibbs is a massive Arsenal fan and Jack Wilshire's a West Ham fan. <laughs> But it was just, uh, just a lovely moment for him. I, I was at, the, I sat at the other end with two of us there, David and I were there. I sat at the other end just to make sure it's a very difficult ground to work at that we had a spot in front of our fans who were at the other end. So one of us went one end, one one the other, and I said, okay, I'll cover us from this end. Not thinking I'd get anything, but when he scored and jumped, I just snatched at it. I got one. That was my one frame, I think, I've got of it. But it just, it's lovely speaking to people who work with the youth academy that they love the picture because it shows three boys who've come through the academy it's a goal against the biggest rivals and it's scored by an arsenal fan i know, I know speaking to henry <coughs> he's so embarrassed about that but he loved that moment that moment will he'll, he'll treasure forever because it's him scoring against the team that he dislikes more than anyone <laughs> 